Hello folks, welcome to Stories with Sheila. Can't believe it's Monday again. Where does the time go to? Anyway, welcome to my YouTube channel and if you haven't subscribed already then please do and be part of our mental wealth community. So today's story is about no regrets and it's called Sister Mary Takes Flight. <laughs> And the story is about it. The story takes us back about four years ago when I decided that I wanted to produce an online show on suicide, which is a topic I'm very passionate about, but I didn't have the funds to do it. So I decided to do like to raise some money and I decided in doing that, what would I do that absolutely scares the head off me? And that is taking to the skies. So I decided as Sister Mary that I would do a tandem hand light with my brother Jeffrey. So to do this I had to arrange to fly back to Ireland to arrange timings with my brother who does hand lighting to be able to do this. And basically, to make a long story short, folks, this happened twice. I went back to Ireland, I had a way to do it, but unfortunately, because of the weather, I couldn't do it. And this was this happened at the last minute, folks. So, you know, for someone who used to suffer really bad with anxiety and panic attacks, the amount that it took me to build myself up to get to the point where I felt I could do it was just incredibly exhausting, as you could imagine, folks. And then with it not happening, OMG, that that was just another story in itself. So this carried on and, you know, thanks to all of you folks that I raised the money that I needed, which is just amazing. And I did produce the show and the show came out just under about two years ago. Okay, so then I, obviously I was annoyed I didn't get to do the tandem hand glide. And then I was going to Turkey last year. I was going to Isle Denise and I was aware that it's quite popular for a parasailing. Now, little did I know that when I went over there, it's one of like the tallest places in the world where you could jump off. And when I got to the hotel that we were staying in and I saw those people like about 6,000 feet in the air or something ridiculous like that, there was no way I was going to do that. So I knew that that was out. Then one day we were down at the beautiful Blue Lagoon Beach. Wow, if you've ever been there, folks, it's just beautiful. And I hope if you haven't, then one day you'll get to go. That um, I saw that people, some people were parasailing. So they were basically taking off from a boat and going up into the air. And I thought, okay, could I do that? And I didn't know. And again, to make a long story short, I, I thought about it and I just thought, actually, I, I didn't have the bottle to do it. And again, to make a long story short, and I'm aware I've mentioned that about three times already, I did it. I did it as Sister Mary. I hope that Joe might be able to edit a bit um, into this video to show me up in the skies doing it. I hated every minute of it. I never want to do it again. Well, I tell you something, folks, I'm so glad that I did it, okay? And the, the amount of coping mechanisms I had to use to get myself to do it is unreal. So, folks, if you want to learn how I managed to get through my own anxiety and panic attacks and actually feel the fear and do it anyway, well, then come to my show, my Mental Health Show 7 that I'm so excited about on World Mental Health Day on the 10th of October, Saturday night. It's going to be live via Zoom and you can book your tickets to Eventbrite and that's going to be on the link on the right up below this video. Um, or just contact me through my website or social media. Um, because I just can't wait to share all my coping mechanisms and techniques because during this day, anxiety, uncertainty, worry is just so prominent and um, that if you're affected by this, then please come and join me on the night for my show. Okay, folks, you know what time it is. <laughs> okay. So let's see what we got. It is the saying of the week, folks. Ah, okay. So this I know is from the lovely Hadisa. And Hadisa does these fantastic jars and it's all from www.goodthoughtsbank.com, folks. And they're full of fantastic sayings from people. 
And here's one. The most common way people give up their power is by thinking they don't have any. Wow, I really want to say that again because I really believe this and this is by Alice Walker. The most common way people give up their power is by thinking they don't have any. Folks, we are far more powerful than we realise. And I'll talk more about that in the show as well. Um, okay, time for a bit of water, folks. Might be vodka, who knows. Um, okay, so what's it going to be? Is it going to be a song? Is it going to be an Irish tune? Is it going to be a dance? I have no idea. I'm going it out. It's a dance. My God. Do you know what? I don't know why I cringe when it's a dance. Um, probably because I don't have the right underwear on. But hopefully this recording is low, high enough that you don't see me bouncing up and down inappropriately. If you know what I mean. Um, okay, so I did think about this earlier on if this came up. And I've decided right that, okay look, we got to do what we need to do during these times. And I love to dance. I know I cringe when I pull out a dance, uh, but I actually love to dance, folks. And I love doing stupid robotic dancing. Now, I did say it's stupid, okay, and I'm quite proud of how stupid it is. But I'm going to get you to join me. I love this tune. Do you hear that beat? Just imagine if my neighbours were looking. Okay, I want you to join me. Ready? Go. Wash on, wash off, wash on, wash off, and walk, 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 and slide. Come on, folks, you know you want to have a dance. <laughs> okay, folks, I hope you have a wonderful day, and thank you as always for watching. See ya.